Hello everybody, Team Jet here, and welcome to our Birds of a Feather playthrough as, uh, well, as on Tom's screen, the bird, uh, Tsitra, <laughs> hiding away in a settlement. Yeah, as, uh, Kairos. Yes, not Tsitra Enjoying himself. his books. Yeah. So, Kairos, Fate Weaver, over there above Cathay, and me as the Demon Prince, who is going to be going a bit Tsitra. I've already got a Tsitra tail, uh, at a corny corny chest. I'm going corny teach. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you can think of a better name for this campaign, let us know in the comments, because we're more than happy to change. Anyway, we're hitting end turn, because uh, yeah. you might remember from last time, we, we kind of ended abruptly, because we had a crash. These things do happen, especially when you're recording, record, streaming to uh, to you from a different location, and doing lots of things which basically aren't great for doing that sort of thing. Anyway, now, I am attacking somebody. Okay. Close victory, no losses. I'm actually going to auto that. Cause then... I'm going for Siege this time because I've got my corny settlement. Now. Now? Um, no, I was going to say one thing which I am just trying to consider is so the realms of uh, the dragons, most of it is either unpleasant or an uninhabitable climate for me. Mm. Which feels somewhat wrong because obviously I don't want to take any of the assessments because of that yeah and I just have to start with I'm going down the, I'm just getting the um sorry on my screen I'm getting the um things which just up my amount of glory gained to start with because that seems probably the most useful for early I game I think that is probably the most useful yeah uh, I'm just going to do a quick auto battle and gets an enemy rebel army just because I want more income. <laughs> I'm kind of just going to work out my tech. I'm not going to pre-plan my text too much because I know it's going to get confusing. Oh god. Oh god, I've got the bloody wood elves sailing over to attack me already. <laughs> Those wood elves, they just love the uh, chaos factions. Um, yep, that's that's my turn. Well, the annoying thing is, I've actually got um, Norskans at war with me as well. Whichever woeful day. Hmm. Which is a little annoying. Um, anyway, yeah, that, that's my go as well. I mean, not the Norskans I started at war with. So I think I'm going to be forced to push down into the Empire. Kind of makes sense because you know, if if you don't if you don't know the story lot, like, haven't done the prequel or watched it yet, guys. Um, cover your ears. Watch it. <laughs> yeah, watch it. Pause this. Go watch it or cover your ears. Because it makes sense to the Demon Prince to be attacking last warning. Kislev. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm going to just go capture uh, a Sassman. Yeah, go for it because I'm a bit umming and ahhing because I've got elves coming at me. Yeah, I... I think, weirdly, you're going to need to be sort of trying to defend quite a bit. Yeah, well, I, I think I need to go... How can I phrase it? I think I almost need to abandon my start area and just move down into the Empire pretty much straight away. Hmm. Yeah, I could... Uh, I could definitely see that. Now... Because if I'm in the Empire, I'm a bit better defended. Hmm. What do you know about the siege mechanics? Not much. <laughs> I'm learning as we speak. So, as the actual uh, Karis Fate Weaver, one of the things you have in regions that you actually control, you can adjust the winds of magic, Certainly but you can't... Like, so, say I had a province, I can't just straight up increase the Winds of Magic in that province. I have to take the Winds of Magic away from another province that I own. Oh yeah, I have seen that. Now, what I am contemplating right now is actually settling the Snake Gate to reduce the Winds of Magic there, to then put them up to max in my home region. Okay. Sorry, I'm, 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 I've been being naughty and sneaking forwards. We need to fight a battle on my screen. Oh. 
I, I moved forwards and I, 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 they, they attempted to ambush me, so I engaged them. It's not an ambush, but I was in a position where I had to attack. Okay. Um, it's a Pyrrhic victory where I'd have lost units. I didn't want to lose units, though I might yeah. still. Though daft it sounds, if we can wipe them out quick enough. You get resources. <laughs> I also sounds daft though. I'd prefer to fight this in a pitched battle rather than letting them get to the assessment. Yeah, because at least they haven't got walls here. I mean, they're I think because it's they reinforcements. Don't have two minutes. Walls, I anyway. think we need to just charge, charge hardcore charge. Yeah, no, I'm gonna give you the range. The, yeah. But again, I kind of if I wipe these two little units, that's literally it. By the way, what's ahead of us? Yeah, I know. Um, I'm actually thinking, uh, what, put the Chaos Wolves behind. You don't need to put the Chaos Wolves in front. Oh, no, I'm just charging. But you charge from the rear. Oh, yeah, good point. Shh. <laughs> I mean... I, I can't. No, I, I literally can't put them on the map from the rear. There's, like, actual terrain in the way. I could put them up there, but then they're so far away. And nothing there is anti-large, so it makes no difference. Anyway, I'm good. Yep, I'm going to get the range just to focus on their lord, if possible. So, yeah, we need to wipe them out, ideally, in a oh minute. Oh, God, the, um... I just realised the uh, spell thing on the side, which builds up for me, blinks at you. <laughs> That's somewhat horrifying. Now, have you got your units double timing? Because it doesn't look like it. They should be. Yeah, no, they are. Oh. I suppose maybe the blood letters just aren't that fast. Yeah, get your lord on their lord, ideally. Put the nerglings on him. Yeah, I, I love Nurglings, but I just don't think they're I'm, any I'm good. I'm staying on the Marauder Hunters until they're utterly broken. Oh, I quite like your lava chest. Yes, looks cool. Gives me nice buffs. Alright, come on, range. Start firing already. Oh, I suppose it's the hill. And the Nurglings. End battle or wait reinforcements? Ooh, I want to wait reinforcements. Uh, well, sounds. we know where they're coming from, so let's get into yeah. position. Uh, they're nearly here. You see that right. little river? Use, yep. I'm going to use that to hold as the line to hold them on. Yeah, I'm going to use the bottom ridge bit. Because that's as far as the range infantry is going to be able to get. That's a nice little feature, though, allowing you to... Yeah, I, I've not actually done it before, so I'm quite oh, glad to see it. Oh, the Lord's rallying. Get your Lord on their Lord. I kind of want my Lord in their new army, in amongst their new forces, if I'm honest. I'm right, gonna get here's the, a new forces. Um... Yeah, this worries me. That's why I was surprised that you wanted to... Because I want to defeat them, if you see what I mean. <laughs> If you can defeat them, that is. Yeah, so you see why I'm lining up the blue horrors? Yeah, I'm going to try and support you as best I can, but it's going to be tricky. I'm going to just let them come in, because obviously... I've turned off skirmish mode, because they're decent in melee. Oh, why did he just send your lord I did, I in? I told you I was doing that very much on purpose, because he's really strong compared to them all. But it's out. <laughs> oh. oh well. Sending support to. Uh, you, uh, you want? Yeah, man. you want to get your 
I don't just charge a stick of flesh and straightforward like that. Yeah, well, I, I, I can't really get them round easily. I'm trying to get them round the side a bit, but it's not easy for me to do it from where I am. Uh, your lord is almost down. Yeah, I know. I'm pulling him back now. Interesting. It said it was green to everything, and he's not. It's no yeah. ranged. It's the amount. I'm Plus not sure I'm going to win this, you know. Um, I'm doing fairly all right. My lord is about to break. My my entire flank just broke. Seekers. I'm charging the seekers into the rear to try and break them. Uh, watch behind. Watch behind you, pink horrors. There are other lords coming in. Oh, they broke. I'm trying to use my Nurglings to hold the rest of their force where it is if you want to burn the crap out of it. I'm trying to, but... They're actually practically out of ammunition. Yeah, no, where they're massed, where they're massed, if you hit them there, you'll do damage to all the units. Rather than letting them shoot at the units individually, just target them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, on it. I'm in trouble. I actually think I'm in real trouble here. All right, the blue horrors are having to charge in because they're out of ammunition. I'm charging into the flank as well. Depressingly, I think I'd have done better autoing this. Uh, possibly? Oh no, here we go, here we go, come on! Seekers oh, uh, my god. Marauder horsemen are coming back yeah, in. Yeah, my Seekers keep getting caught on all the units which are running away. Uh, your Blue Horrors are running out if you can keep them in the centre, try and keep them in. Yeah, no, I was repositioning those ones so they could get around rather than just bulking all on one side. I've got the pink horrors firing back in again. Kill. Cool. Oh god, Bob! Come on, Bob! Uh, you could possibly get your lord to retreat a little bit, and I'll. Uh... He's absolutely stuck in your things. But there, so is their lord as well. Yeah. No, my point is I've tried a few times. I can't. I'm trying to get the seekers into the uh, into the rear of them. There we go. He's breaking. Yeah, I think. Other than their thingies, it's going quite well. That could have gone better. <laughs> to say the least. Wait until I give up and go pure corn. Well, you say that. Most of your blue horrors. Have a, are yeah, no, the blue close. horrors did spectacularly. Yeah. I would say I was treating the blue horrors as like a frontline. I actually unit. think the blue horrors are the best unit I've got currently, which I can recruit. Because the other thing, the corn unit I get earlier, the Chaos Warhounds. Yeah. Which I'm going to be honest, I fucking hate. <laughs> if I'm on. Oh. I, I actually think. I'd have probably been better getting a Nurgle so I could get Nurglings out. Mm, no. They're good for just I'm, holding units. They're not. That's... As... As... Uh, Pappy. Yeah, sure, great, because he gives them regeneration. You don't have any way of giving them regeneration. Oh, oh, oh I think I chose the wrong glory. Uh, I chose Slanesh glory by mistake. Fuck, I'm an idiot. I mean, no, it's uh, it's still useful. Yeah. No, I'd have I'd have given myself enough glory to be able to recruit more horrors. I mean, 
You win some and you lose some? To recruit pink horrors, I think. Um, okay, so next tech I'm going for. Obviously, I've got one which increases reinforcement speed. Reduces the cost of reinforcement. Yeah. Uh... Uh, no, no, uh, basically I'm gonna up my blue horrors, so plus four defense to the blue horrors, and I can get that up to plus six defense at the top. And increasing their barriers, which I think is quite solid, actually, for blue and yeah, pink Yeah, increasing horrors. their barriers is a good one. Should I, I do that, or should I start upping my corn glory early? <sighs> it's... I think for now I'm gonna go for the blue horrors, because that's really gonna help me much more. Yeah. Join the ruinous crusade. I'm just glad I finally got my whole region. Oh, well. I just need to... I'm I'm in so much <sighs> shit. I wanna finish off. I know I'm being invaded by the elves, guys, but I wanna finish these guys off Chaos first. Because if we can finish these guys off, I have less to worry about. Mm. I'm about to lose my core knight settlement. But that means I get to retake it and get more glory. Uh, it's over to you. Yeah. Because, um, unfortunately, I'm really suffering from a lack of income currently. What actually so, happens um, if you take the snake gate? I can't. Call, all I, it is basically becomes a ruined thing. But it costs me still to colonize it, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. So you don't gain anything from having you it. You gain basically nothing from it. I'm going to leave it as it is because I'm changed to the Edict, which gives me a 25% mm. chance each turn to uh, increase the Winds of Magic change. See, I'd almost leave Cathay alone. <laughs> I am going to. There's no real point to me trying to deal with Cathay. And Depressingly, I think I'm going to have to disband half my army just to keep my finances available for upgrading my settlements initially. Mm. Oh, we are playing hard, hard, by the way, guys, this time. Now we know the game a bit better. Mm. That's our excuse for when we do badly, by the way. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I moved away from that settlement, and guess who just colonized the Snake Gate? Uh -huh. Fuck! Can you not retreat? I could, but I want—I need to fight it. I'm—I I'm, I want to take the settlement they're reinforcing from, so I have to—I need to fight this. Yeah, I know it's going to be brutal, but I've got to fight it. Your lord's almost dead. Yeah, I'm, this is this is the blue horrors are going to be willing this. Uh. Oh God. <laughs> I can't even think of any viable. I may cause... actually. This this might be a short campaign at this rate. Um. Obviously, give me the. I am gonna. I'm not going to go aggressive because their reinforcements... Oh, no, their reinforcements are quite large. Yeah, their reinforcements are a larger bit. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just have to try and do as much damage as possible to their first army before... And I'm going to approach straight down the middle here. So, ideally, if you can get the... Group your cavalry together. They do have a ranged unit. Yeah. And keep your lord above the horrors. I think. Yep. You good? I mean, I'm going to keep my lord landed, to be fair. Uh, no, I'd keep him in the air. Honestly. Uh, ranged. They have ranged. Not very long ranged. Now... Does he, your lord have any spells? No. He's got melee stuff. Ah. Uh, hey, I'm good. Yep. Ah, oh, they've been sensible. They started right back. Drink their blood. 
I mean, not. Oh, that's just a pain. They're moving. Now, the berserkers your cavalry should be particularly good against. Seekers. No. They're red to me. I think it's because my cavalry is already damaged, basically. The only mm. thing which my cavalry is particularly good against is the um, marauders, unsurprisingly. All right, I'm just going to get your horrors straight onto the berserkers. And unfortunately, with the speed, not going to get there in time no, for reinforcements. No, I didn't expect to. The second I saw them that far back. Yeah, I'm moving I, my infantry forwards as well. I actually think we need to retreat. I've, I've got to win this or I'm dead. I literally can't lose this battle, or I will lose. Because if I fall yeah. back, the elves will kill me. Uh, uh, your blood letters are getting in the way a bit of the moving of the pink horrors, by the way. I'm trying to move them off to the side a bit more. But, you know, they're kind of my inf best infantry. Uh, so we have... Yeah, ooh. I'm doing a charge in and out to keep them busy. Okay, good. The Berserkers are... And pull out. Fire me, lovelies. Yep, reinforcements are here. Lacerate but I've them. nuked the berserkers, which is what we've needed. I'm just going to try and nuke individual units. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting. I'm basically that's what I'm doing with this one. Here, I pop my my lord's buffs to slam to smash this unit as best I can. Okay, I've got. All right, can you try and get your lord in on their lord, my side? Because I've dealt with the two units, yep, and I'm gonna. He's, he's going for it. I'm basically turning my cavalry round the back. My blood for blood letters are stuck right in there, so you should be relatively safe. Though they're not going to last long, I don't think. Yeah, this formation actually is surprisingly effective for uh, especially if you focus fire things like you're doing. Yeah, the and most of the blue horrors are out of ammunition, unfortunately. Yeah, already. that's fine. It's fine. We've done the damage we needed, I think. My next target. Sounds daft though, because my lord's got a shield as well. He's quite solid. Oh, my swinging blood letters are dying. I hate to say it, but you knew that was going to happen. Yeah, they. It was the sacrifice was worth it. But also, I'm I'm basically disintegrating their formation quite a bit. You say you're disintegrating their formation. Well, no, I'm I'm. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm disintegrating. As in, I'm not killing their units, but I'm keeping their formation from reforming. Yeah, I I do think the. Uh... The MVPs of your army has definitely been the horrors. Yeah, no, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm going to start rolling more of those as soon as we get the settlement, which if I do, basically, I want to do lots of damage to all these units. I want to do as much damage as I can because I'm going to have to take the settlement next. Which is going to be hard if we don't take all this out. Now, the... Units left... All right. You have all blue horrors like li completely out now. Yeah, that's I fine. Mean, Literally, just, 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 just. I'm, I'm charging them, them in. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying I'm to surround them. And use the pink of, horrors of still. Uh, spearmen. Oh, 
Yeah, as you say, the flaming attacks. The fact my is... lord is shielded as well. It's really solid. Now... What are these blue rows doing? Get back in. It's actually quite good having some blue horrors Ooh. idle because it gives a chance for their shields to recharge. But also, the blue horrors are quite short, which means they're really easy to shoot over. They're breaking, but don't let them run away. I want, we want to keep fighting here. We want to surround them and kill them all if we can. Make them <laughs> you say that, I've had them... Oh, God damn it! they're all in guard mode. Are you, are you sure you haven't got guard mode I turned on? I do not have it on. I'm double checking. Default guard mode is not ticked on. Let me check mine. It remembers it from what you had it on on the last battle, remember? No, I've got default guard mode turned off. Hmm. Yeah, but if you had them in it in the last battle, it will remember the setting. And, yeah. I, I'm i not sure we're going to get many more kills from this. I just want to make sure we get as many as possible. I mean... Hang on, I have the Seekers of Flamesh, which are the fastest things in existence. I think they'll get a few more kills. Yeah. It's more about finishing off their units as much as I can. I'm double timing it for a bit. I'm triple timing it even. Yeah, I'm just going to get the Blue Horrors to stop because the thing is they're just getting in the way of your fast units. Yeah, exactly. Slow unit down. I like that. The way I get I get various different abilities. Depending on what. Yeah. yeah. Did you say you triple timed it? Because it doesn't look triple. I did triple time it. It didn't and actually do it. Weird. Yeah, I do like the fact that your riders applied poison. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm... I... No, I'm just doing a few more, but yeah, that's good. That's solid. No, basically, I wanted to damage them because they will get some replenishment, but the more I kill, the less they'll have... You know, they'll, they'll, they'll have, like, maybe 200 in the settlement, Whoa, which we should be able to deal. For your pink horrors. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more horrors. I'm actually seriously impressed by the horrors. I think horrors with a line of... Plus, my horrors are all more armoured now as well, which probably helped. Or more, have a lot much better defence now. Yeah, the I think the main thing with the horrors is you do need that front line. Yes. And I to think, hold off the... I actually think maybe Nurgle would be better for that, though, because small units. We'll see. I, I, I kind of like the idea of a corny front line, though. Right. I'm going to lose all my Chaos Hounds. I honestly don't give a shit because there were like four of them left. I am going to... This is going straight back to Siege. It should. Oh, come on, come on. So I'm currently being besieged by Corn. Ooh. You are? It's... It's awkward because... Hmm. You, will, you do start taking attrition straight away now, by the way. Oh, you do? I think so, yeah. Right, hang on, I'm, I'm, hang on, I just want to do some stuff in my settlement quickly. Like, recruit more blue horrors. Um. Yeah, I'm about to be under siege by elves, which is going to suck. Uh, I'm entering diplomacy, by the way. Hang on. Oh, that's annoying. The pink horror building is a tier 3 building, but I can't get in any of my places yet, and I want to start getting pink horrors out. Mmm. Because they're all goddamn ports, so I'm getting it in my main settlement so I can actually just start getting them. And I'm getting some growth out, and... So they're at Bay of Blades, so I'm actually relatively safe at the moment. It's... This is a bit heartbreaking. I can't break out of this... Siege at the moment. I'm just. Ooh, let's have a look. It's basically an army of blood letters, and and it's uh, 
got a garrison of Forsaken and Blue Horrors. You could probably win the... Uh, just get your army back. I That's why I'm doing. I've got them in double timed. But I wanted to uh, raise the Snake Gate again. Other than that, I'm, I'm getting some Nurgle corruption. Nurgle prestige as well, simply because I uh, want the... Uh, I want Actually, the growth. I'm opening diplomacy again. Because... The reason we're saying when we're opening diplomacy, by the way, guys, is there is a bug if you're both doing diplomacy at the same time. Or as happened before when I was hitting end turn as Tom went into diplomacy, it, it, it blew everything up. Oh, you've got pets. God damn it. Uh, pets? Pets. Minions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I just got told them to attack the gate for me. Because I couldn't do it anytime soon. Yeah, no, I've really noticed a difference for income between normal and hard difficulty. And god damn it, I knew this was gonna oh happen. Oh god, they went for your, your army. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Yep. Now, this isn't necessarily too bad because they have no flying or range units. Mm -hmm. So, we might be able to manage it this. It says Valiant, so you should do a lot of damage to them. But it's the going to be a hard is one. Magic resistance. 30% <laughs> spell resistance. <laughs> Unfortunately, they've got. If they had less troops than you, I'd say it would be really easy because you just split into two forces mm -hmm. and killbox them. But you, you're not got that. Nope. However, I need to decide what unit to utilize the Flamer of Siege's range attack on. And Chaos first Warriors. thing we're gonna do: turn us, turn off skirmish mode for everything. Chaos Warriors. I'm gonna give you control of the Pink Horrors. And the reason why I say this is, unfortunately, it's really going to want to be almost a, quite a thick, a, almost a checkered line of them, I was almost going to say. Because the Soul Grinder is going to focus on their... The way you say almost a checkered line, as I was already doing a checkered yeah. line. Yeah. I'm going to get the Soul Grinder to focus on their Lord. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pepper pop them back as well. So when they get engaged, I'll let them fight for a little bit until the shields drop. And then I'll try and fall them all back. Um, a bit to try and keep everything move, you know, rotating. So as much as far as firing as possible. Mm. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Right. So you've got one unit a bit further forward, but that's fine. Yeah. We good? Ish. As will ever be. Go! Well, actually, hang on. Before we start, should we use that mountain to the side to try and... No. Nope. I need room here, basically. We could. I mean, I'm kind of going to... Basically, what's going to happen is I'm actually going to rotate my formation ever so slightly. Because I'm right. going to be falling back through that gap, if you see what I mean. In fact, what I'll almost do is, as the first unit engages, I might even rotate it back, if you see what I mean. So I'll let them fire a volley, fall them back. Now, even though they have spell resistance, they still take quite a bit from Kairos's. And I'm going to hold off the Flamer of Siege. There's not the Flamer, the Chariot, until the enemies are actually engaged. Quite yeah, fast. they're lords. It's for warhounds. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize they were warhounds. All right. Let's get the flamer to target their lord. Yeah, those warhounds on the side are going to be a problem. Oh, 
I'll bring in Kairos to uh enough to actually pull out annoyingly I've lost that unit on the flank I'm I'm not sure we're winning this man uh, you say that I'm fully engaged I can't pull out to get my shields back I've and almost killed their Lord me. yeah that's not gonna be useful I'm, I'm literally starting to lose units mate. yeah I've uh, broken their Lord well killed it yeah that's not gonna help unless you kill everything else uh, that's... I needed the soul grinder and the thing he no, nope, they're coming back now. Yeah, but I, it's too late. The the pink horrors are dead. Yeah, no, that's uh, not the end of the world. I don't think their lord was the threat. It's the getting their morale down, which is... You know when you kill a lord, the morale debuff only lasts for 30 seconds, right? Uh, nope. Did yeah, not know that. that. However... All, only lasts for 30 seconds. The benefit, though, is... Is that the... <laughs> I say the benefit. Yeah, you see, I could have used the soul grinder and the chariot and you, in melee, I was, keeping them off. I was mate. utilizing it already. It's there it, it, wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> I still think this was the right decision for trying to. No, I I I, I disagree utterly because you you basically removed the benefit of range. Our range basically became pointless. Well, no, I was keeping their units distracted with soul grinder. A couple. The, uh, basically, the chariot and the Kairos, I think I needed out. I Basically, I needed them screening me. We'll see. I mean, Kairos could still manage to win this on his own. I need to get him to fly out so his... Uh... Well, I have to say, the Soul Grinder does look pretty... Uh... Yeah, it, it does a lot of damage when it does that fire attack. Let's get the units out of... So their shields can recharge. There we go. I mean, at least they won't be able to go for your settlement. Well, no, that's exactly it. Got any good spells you can drop on them? Uh, nope. I'm uh, waiting for Winds of Magic to recharge. So luckily, there we go. Doing the ability to increase power recharge. It's going to be so, basically kiting them around the place now. Yeah, that's going to be exactly it. I'll give you control of the soul grinder. So utilize the soul grinder for. It's got the range still at the moment, but I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it moving basically. It's, yeah, it's, it's the the hounds which worry me actually. Well, I've dealt with one hounds with the other the flaming chariot. Utilize uh, the soul grinder. Basically, try and keep the soul grinder alive. Oh yeah. Because it's my only ground grounded unit. Oh god damn it, why didn't you shoot? It's those dogs are gonna be the hounds are gonna be the Oh no, charge it into the dogs. Yeah, no, I, I, I was, I just didn't want to uh sit there. Yeah, they're breaking now, it's perfect. Right. It doesn't like pointing where I'm telling it to point. Let's get some more ma magic going. Yeah, Kairos, as long as there's a unit on the ground and he can sort of keep... 
I have to say, this burning chariot, the fact that, well, it's a flying chariot as well as flamethrower damage. Mm. I think we'll win this, but it's going to be a goddamn long, boring battle. It's keeping the micromanagement going and relying on the shield recharge. That shield recharge. Like, don't worry about charging in the soul grinder to try and deal with some units when it's... When it's got full shields. Yeah. Like, I'm going to... As soon as... Real danger is if it gets up, stuck. That's exactly... Yeah, shield's already gone. Doesn't ben. last long. I'm trying to get it out, but it's... Yeah, no, I didn't think... I it nearly lost it there. And I'm out of range. And I'm uh, really... Just keep it, just keep yeah, it out of I'm range really now. Yeah, I'm really low on morale as well. Yeah. Keep it safe, and I'll use for utilize the flying units to keep. Because the thing is, thanks to these being demons, once they've broken, they will. I've basically Isn't... given it route to run. Yeah. Feel free to speed up time, by the way. <laughs> you, I can't. I've got a. I'm micromanaging the chariot as well, which is actually probably doing the most useful damage because it causes fear. Uh, triple time for a moment. I can say focus the weak units because you break a few of them, you might actually yeah. break them. That's what I am trying to do. And I am not regaining any more Winds of Magic. I'm completely out. If you're fighting on the ground, I'm going to charge the Soul Grinder back in. Nope, well. nope, 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 nope. No, no, so long as you're landed, it's fine. Because you can land units now. No, don't. Don't charge for soul grind. I'm able to get them out already because they're out of barrier. That's all. I mean, the soul grind is so far ahead anyway. Yeah, which is exactly how we uh, want it right now. Um, there we go. Got those ones destabilized. Barriers recharging. No, the back. Oh, well, not for long. Charge! Yeah, no, it, it's just a shame about the lack of ammunition. If there was a way of recharging ammunition, that would just Ooh. be horrifying. Well, other than assessments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that morale's... Yeah, it, it's close. You can get a couple of them breaking. Yeah. I just keep relying on this shield recharge. Because also, I think I know the reason why the Soul Grinder shield doesn't matter, last that long. I think the shield equals the health. Oh, no, the shield's always tiny, by the way. Comparatively. All right, let's just... Uh... I just hate not having any winds of magic power. <laughs> this would be perfect right now. You can't have it infinite winds However, of magic. However, their morale's just dropping just by being in the... I'm not even needing to do anything, actually, right at a second. Yeah, in your vicinity, it will, because you cause fear and terror. Yeah. As does your chariot. Well, not quite as much. But drop on that really low unit and kill it. Yep, on it. Stay on it until it falls. Well, it says it's destabilized. Yeah, but it, you need to keep it destabilized. Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, where are you bring your soul grinder? I'm not. I'm keeping them focusing <laughs> on it rather than turning around to you. 
It's much faster than them. I can bring it really close, then just turn it round. And... Which means you can do that without losing your shields. Uh... I think, I can't believe how this tactic has been working. I don't think this tactic would work for any other faction. Eh, no, wood elves. No, ammunition. Yeah, not all the wood elf units need ammo. Uh, you could be basically doing what you're doing, but with eagles and hybrid lords on eagles. I stand by uh, health. Because uh, they obviously just have limited health pools, which they can regenerate. Only partial. Because remember, there's a there regeneration. Are, there are a few factions you can do this with, which have got fast enough things to avoid. It's over. Yep. Charge! Oh. My <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. That was brutal. Yeah. Thankfully now I... in my army I can get pink horrors too. I was sold massively on that flaming chariot there. Mm. That did far far better than I thought it ever would do. Better to be by my side. Nope. Okay. Good thing about that is I should have a bit of income this turn now. <laughs> Sorry, somebody was offering me money for an onagrash back to which I was accepting. But anyway, guys, we are going to leave this one here. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying it. As always, please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. But also an extra special thank you to our channel members, Monster Bound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, and Jared Horn, and an extra special thank you to William Farmer. And thank you to everyone for watching. And just a quick reminder, if you do want to binge watch this, uh, they are, or all the ones we've already got recorded are available to our Patreons and channel members, either over on the Patreon page or on our Discord for them. Anyway, cheers all.